We are whipping up a brunch staple, but we're doing it vegan style. Here to show us how to cook country gravy with vegan sausage and biscuits is Chef Amy Webster from Rainy Day Vegan. Welcome back to the show. Good to Hi, see you, my honey. friend. We loved your breakfast bake that Ooh. you made last time. That was delicious. I know Good. our executive producer still makes it. I hope a few of you out there are still making it. So what are we making today? Mm -hmm. So we're Sausage still, and yes, this is a great breakfast theme because, you know, for just a nice brunch on the weekends mm -hmm. or Mother's Day is right around the corner. So oh, yes, this is a great treat because it's super easy, healthier, better for us, better for the planet. Yes. And yes. of course, that's, better for the animals. That's one thing we forget to mention a lot. I know there's a lot of talk about how expensive vegan can be, but it's mm -hmm. also... Again, we don't talk about how it is better for the planet and sustainability overall. So. Right, yes, let's work that into the cost and I think it would be totally worth it. Let's get started. Okay, okay. so is this, this <clears throat> doesn't even look like vegan sausage, no. but I know it's you, so it is, right? Yes, right, exactly. It's a genius product um, and this is the Impossible Sausage. I like this a lot because it's gluten-free, so anyone who is gluten intolerant can have this. It's soy-based and yeah, it's like, it browns up, so it starts pink. You can kind of still see the pink yes. there. I wanted you to see that and then it will start browning up just like traditional sausage. So that's when so, you know it's cooked is when it's brown. Yes, it gets brown just like now. The thing is, I could eat this raw because it's all made of plants. It wouldn't yeah. be harmful, but we want to make it just like, you know. How do they do, I, okay, I, I want to get into the science yes. of how they do that because I am very interested as to, I mean, I mean, there's a lot of research obviously that goes into this. Right. So once we get that nice and browned up, yes, we'll put it to the gravy, but right. how do we so start making the gravy? I start with that, kind of getting that all nice and, and then the gravy, I'm just going to make a nice roux. So I melted some butter. I'm using um, the Violife plant, um, plant butter. Okay. So I'm just going to add some flour like you normally would. Now you can always make this gluten-free as well. But this is so this is just a nice simple roux for the gravy. See how nice and creamy that oh, gets. That's so creamy really easy. Yes. And then you want to add my vegetable broth. So, so this okay, vegetable all of this? broth, yes. One, one cup. cup. Okay. Get that in there. I am and surprised then, at how well this is all mixing together. Frequently <laughs> in the past when you've been cooking with vegan or or alternative products, things don't quite work the right way, but everything has gotten so good. I I'm know, just the products are just uh, head and shoulders above these days. I mean, really, it's so much, so much better. And you know, a lot of people will say, well, okay, the sausage is processed. Well, what about that? Well, you know what? So is sausage that comes from an animal, obviously, right? It doesn't come from the animal that way, so it's also processed. But the yeah. thing is, when you have processed meat, it directly causes cancer. It is not only a... You just threw that out there. Proce it's directly causing yes, cancer. Yes, okay. it's, it's a World Health Organization classifies it as a carcinogen for humans. So <gasps> let's have plants and let's save the animals at the same time. So wow, seriously. I'm going to add some plant milk. So okay. this is almond milk. And this is just going to go right into the gravy. Because now I'm trying to make a country gravy. So that's why there's a lot more of the milk kind of making it kind of a nice country more gravy. More creamy. And yes, and white. Now this is kind of still thin, but as it cooks up and then reduce the heat, it'll get thicker. So mm, okay. let's add some flavor. So nutritional yeast, you know, can't be, I can't be, <laughs> can't, can't can't be without. It. No, I mean, honestly, it's it's <laughs> delicious. It is really good. And it's it's got a great, it's nutritious, as the name will indicate, nutritional yeast. But yeah, it does need a better name, don't you think? I do some think salt so. Some pepper. Can we come up with See a new how, name for it? Well, yeah. the competition. Well, a lot of people lovingly call it nooch. But I think it, you know, we can have a better name. I think it's. Uh, I mean, I'm not trying to make a spell or a potion here. I'm yeah, like, right, some right. gravy. Yeah, I'm gonna need no new. All right, we'll come up with a, a, a new day. Yes, let's do that. Competition yes. to make new name for yeast. Now the nutritional yeast could be left out if you want. That's all that goes in the gravy. This is all my biscuits. So I'm gonna okay. while I was cooking that, I will make up my biscuits and okay. get those in the oven. Let's do it. But I want to make sure that my sausage. Can we stir the sausage? Yeah, make I got sure you. that's not getting. Um, I got you. It's not getting too brown. Yeah. I, I, I'm still amazed that it goes too I know. To brown. Like, I know. It's pretty great, right? And there's so many on the market. You know, Beyond Meat has a really great one. And all the grocery stores now have their own brand name, Vegan Sausages. So, all right. So I'm going to make my biscuits a very, very easy biscuit recipe. Mm -hmm. Get some uh, baking powder, salt, you know, the basics in your biscuits here. So, nutritional yeast. This is optional. But I really like it because it just gives it an extra More savory. Flavory. Yes. It's really nice. So once you've got all this going on in here, I like fresh rosemary. These are rosemary. I like to make them with fresh rosemary. Okay. I 
clip it right from my garden. So I say rosemary is my favorite herb and my favorite aunt. Oh, <laughs> <And, aw, laughs> yeah, cute. She, she's really hey, wonderful. Rosemary, what's up? Yeah, she's in Michigan and she's amazing, yes. Um, so once the dry is all mixed, what yep. we're gonna do is add, I just take the same Biolife plant butter, which okay. acts a lot like any kind of a dairy butter, and get this in there and then we're gonna just, you're not gonna let it melt and you might think, oh, this is gonna be really hard, no, no, but you if you have a to. pastry cutter, yeah. Yes. Just gonna only just to like pea size. Okay, so and as then, you're mixing that together, I just yes. have to ask, I know yes, that please. Posado's uh, Safe Haven is now working with schools. Yes, Tell me are. about this. Oh, it's so exciting, Amity, it's really great. It's a great program that started with the state's um, climate initiative. So mm -hmm. some money was awarded to schools around the state and any school that wanted the funding, it's a grant program, they could apply for it. And what we did was we created this program to help them spend the money and kind of give them some resources. Yeah. So like a lot of schools are like, well, hey, we want this, this is a good thing, but where do we start? Yeah. So we created this whole kit with resources and some events. So we're offering a free event, a tasting event, or a plant-powered takeover. We just did one last week. It was amazing. And you know, it's the whole, you know, the whole school district went plant-based for a day, and it was so fun. It was exciting, and we had a lot of attention, and it was great. I'm the so glad to hear it. it. I know there's a yeah. lot of, we were mentioning the cost of vegan before, and there is yeah. uh, the concern that it might cost schools more to go vegan, but the legislature right. passed supportive funding last year, and Posados right. was involved in the lobbying efforts. Yes, of exactly. We have a very strong legislative department, and they work really hard, and so this was one of the, the initiatives we worked on, and yes, it was very successful. We're hoping for another year around with that, but yeah, some plant-based, you know, products can mm -hmm. be more, but we're getting that cost down and some are just you know really we're trying to um, help them use like some natural you know ingredients right. as well yes we're about out of time because I just kept asking you questions yes. so we want to try this so I'm assuming that once you make the, yes. the biscuits you just you cut them out you I'm pop gonna cut them, them on here. yep and put them in yes. all right so can I try this now yes wait please. I need a fork oh, I need yes. a fork need a hold fork. on I got one Oh, good. I got one right here. I know my way around my own kitchen here. Don't <laughs> mind me. All right, here we yes. got to try this Let right now. Let me know what you think. All right. Okay. Would not even know. Would really? not even know. Really? It's so good. Oh, good. Isn't it? It's so good. It's so oh, simple, my gosh. too. Oh, my gosh. That's delicious. Yay, thank you so thank much. You oh, it's so me. savory. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to eat this and my beer. <laughs> This is my lunch today. Breakfast of Not even kidding. <laughs> All right, if you'd like to try Amy's Country Gravy with vegan sausage, we have the recipe on our website right now. Or you can just text the word recipe to 206-448-4545. We'll send it straight to your phone.